Good. All right. Treasurer, call the roll. Mr. Sherman. Here. Mrs. McLaughlin. Here. Mr. Wallace. Here. Mr. Glista. Here. No, Mrs. Canadian Bass. Approval of minutes, item one, March 15, 2016, special meeting minutes, March 29, 2016, special meeting minutes, March 30th, 2016, special meeting minutes, March 31st, 2016, special meeting minutes, work session, and March 31st, regular meeting minutes. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Uh, Mr. Glista. Yes. Uh, Mr. Wallace. Yes. Ms. McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. Truman. Yes. Under finance, item one, recommend approval of the financial report for the month of March 2016. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll. Mr. Wallace. Yes. Ms. McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. Glista. Yes. Mr. Truman. Yes. Item two, recommend approval of accounts payable, payroll, and benefits expenditures for the Mar for March 2016. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll. Mr. Wallace. Yes. Ms. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Glista? Yes. Mr. Trimble? Yes. Item three, recommend approval of advance returns for March 2016. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Ms. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Glista? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Mr. Trimble? Yes. Uh, item four, recommend approval of appropriations for March 2016. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll. Mr. Glista? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Mr. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Trimble? Yes. Item 5, recommend approval of an amended certificate of resources for March 2016. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Ms. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Glister? Yes. Mr. Trimble? Yes. Item 6, recommend approval of Griffin Insurance Agency, Guarantee Trust Life Insurance Company, as the student insurance provider for the 2016-17 school year in Exhibit 1. So moved. Se second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Mr. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Glista? Yes. Mr. Trimble? Yes. Item 7, recommend approval of, en of enrollment in the Ohio School Comp 2017 Workers' Compensation Group Rating Program, continuing, continuing under third party administrator comp management for the January 1, 2017 through December 31, 2017 policy year. Enrollment fee is $2,505. The prior year policy year enrollment fee was $2,390 in Exhibit 2. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Glisto? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Mr. Trimmer? Yes. Item 8, recommend approval of fiscal 2017 agreement with access for internet and email services as well as other financial, staff, and student reporting services for a total of $91,626.54, less an amount to be determined that will be reimbursed through the E-rate program. The prior year total was $91,626.52. Exhibit 3. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call roll. Mr. Glister. Yes. Um, Mr. Wallace. Yes. Ms. McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. Trimble. Yes. There are no items under accounts payable. Dr. Weingart. I have uh, four recognitions and I'm glad to uh, highlight those. Uh, first of all, congratulations to the West Branch Fine Arts Program for receiving the Best Communities for Music Education Award. This is the second year that they've received that. Um, number two, Alliance Review Athletes of the Week. Those go to Hunter Steele and Bailey Byers. Uh, number three, congratulations to Mrs. Egley, and Mrs. Egley is here, uh, and her staff for an outstanding FY 2016 special education fiscal on-site evaluation, and that's as exciting as it sounds. <laughs> no, we do want to commend you for that. Um, and uh, number four, congratulations to Alliance BPO number 467 uh, in April 2016. That's Paige Walsh and Matthew Williams. Alliance Elks Teenagers of the Year, Danny Lowe and Andrew Eady, and Alliance uh, Chamber of Commerce Student of the Month, and that goes to Ethan Griffith. Congratulations to these um, students and staff members. WBEA comments? Yes. Uh, reporting to speak for the WBEA tonight is Amy Chris. Yes. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Uh, 
first of all, I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to speak this evening. I think the last time I addressed the board directly was about 22 years ago when I was a young mother of a soon-to-be West Branch kindergartner. For me, it's a very nerve-wracking experience, and I usually stick to writing personal note cards of appreciation for the board and its support. So I'd like to thank you personally for your support with both in the past, present, and for in the future. Hopefully when I next directly address the board, it will be in another 22 years when I retire. Um, I know a West Branch graduate who has challenged me personally to be a thermostat and not a thermometer. In other words, you set the temperature around you, and I've tried to keep that idea in mind in room 602 at the middle school. I strive for about 75 and sunny every day, but sometimes I fall a little short. Um, Tuesday night, I wrote a letter that I feel that I need to share this evening. To the West Branch Board of Education, as I sit to compose this letter, I cannot help but wonder what has happened to the West Branch local schools that I know and love. My parents, my husband, my children and I are all West Branch graduates. Is it me? Am I the problem? Have I turned into one of those old need to retire soon teachers? My day begins, unless I hit the snooze, at 4.45 a.m. when I spend time reading my Bible and praying. Issues related to our school and my students are often on my prayer list, including the hiring of a new superintendent, administrators, and etc. My day at West Branch begins at 7 a.m., and after a regular day, you will most likely find me still at school, meeting with student council, working with students on their math or language arts, discussing with colleagues what went well in the day's lessons, what needs tweaked for tomorrow, or meeting with community members in a book session book study. These extra meetings are followed by completing necessary paperwork, evaluating student work, or preparing for the following day. On most days, I leave school between 5 and 6 p.m. In the evening, on an average three nights a week, I have additional time spent on school-related tasks, more grading, lesson planning, research, reading, responding to email, etc. Most weekends, you'll find me in my room, part of Saturday or on Sunday, creating the smart board lessons needed for the following week, updating my grade book, and attempting, not necessarily successfully, but attempting to return order to my classroom after a busy week with students. I do not say this to sound boastful or to brag, but to illustrate the time dedicated to the students of West Branch. I am not alone. Back to the original question. What has happened to the West Branch local schools that I know and love? I don't think it's me. I love my students, I love my school, I love my job, I love being here every day. My daily commitment is testimony of that dedication. I jokingly say, my husband works to support my job. Just look at my classroom library and you'll know why. Again, more proof of my love for the students. In Tuesday evening's Alliance Review, an article on the Sebring Board of Education stated, Lynn Chu, Sebring Local Education Association, thanked the board. We wanted to say thank you for the positive start to negotiations. We feel like we have made some progress and we appreciate the spirit in which we have begun. My thought was, I wish I could say that about our negotiations. How disappointing it is to be midway through April and know the process began before Christmas break to look for a new superintendent, a new administration, new contract for our teachers, and none of these issues have been finalized. Lack of progress breeds dissatisfaction, and to be frank, anger. I'm angry that I'm working so hard day in and day out, and if you saw my kids during state testing, you would be so proud of them. They worked so hard yesterday and today. I only to realize we teachers are not a priority enough to even set a date to meet, let alone come to a tentative agreement. Decisions need to be made for the leadership of the district so that our administration will have direction and offer leadership for the staff. Contracts need to be settled so that teachers' minds are not burdened with the what-ifs and can spend their time, energy, and effort in more productive directions. I ask you to please make the needed decisions soon to get back to the negotiation table soon and to lead West Branch local schools on a course that we can be proud to be called Voyeurs. 
I thank you for the opportunity to speak this evening. And again, I thank you. It takes all of us, teachers, school board, administration, and countless support staff, all of us working together to make West Bridge the great school district I know and love. Thank you for your time. Thank you. into the minutes of the meeting. WBCA comments? Uh, visitors comments, since you spoke under the WBEA, if there's no other visitor comments. Um, report to the board, we don't have any. Um, correspondence, we don't have any old business and new business. Item one, recommend acceptance of the following gifts and donations listed in exhibit four. So moved. Second. Church call roll. Um, Mr. Walls. Yes. Mr. McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. Lister. Yes. Mr. Trimble. Yes. Item two, recommend approval of additions and corrections to the policy manual, second reading in exhibit five. And under that, I'd like a motion to for a consent agenda on all of the items except for item number 2452 and 5330.03. Motion. Motion McLaughlin. Second. Seconded Wallace. Treasure call roll, please. Uh, Mr. Walsh. Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. Weston. Yes. Mr. Turner. Yes. Item uh, under the same item, we will vote on items 2452 and 5330.03 for the policy reading, second reading. Do I have a motion? Second. Treasure call roll. Uh, Mr. Weston. Yes. Is that a no? Yes. Is that a no? I got yes <laughs> right now. No. Um, Mr. Uh, Walsh. No. Ms. Walsh. No. Um, Mr. Trimmer. No. Item three, recommend approval to adopt a resolution to provide a three-week pre-K summer intervention program funded through sources provided by the district and United Way of Youngstown in the Mahoning Valley. The program outline is as follows. As part of a broader, more comprehensive Success by Six initiative to address the needs of children in our community, United Way of Youngstown and Mahoning Valley will offer financial support for a total of $18,000, $4,500 per unit for four units for a three-week, four-hour-per-day summer program listed in Exhibit 6. So moved. Second. Treasure call the roll. Mrs. Dumbledore. Yes. Mr. Glista. Yes. Um, Mr. Wallace. Yes, Mr. Trimmer. Yes, item four, recommend approval to dispose of outdated textbooks and resource books listed in Exhibit 7. So moved. Second. Treasure call roll. Mr. Blitzda. Yes. Mr. Wallace. Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. Trimmer. Yes. Item five, recommend approval to enter in an agreement with Youngstown State University for College Credit Plus for the 2016-17 school year in Exhibit 8. So moved. Second. Treasure call roll, please. Uh, Mr. Walls. Yes. Mr. Walsman? Yes. Mr. Wiston? Yes. Mr. Trimmer? Yes. Item 6, recommend approval to grant permission to West Branch students to drive to and from <coughs> high school junior senior prom on May 7, 2016 at Salem Golf Club. Second. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mr. Walls? Yes. Mr. Walsman? Yes. Uh, Mr. Wiston? Yes. Mr. Trimmer? Yes. Item 7, recommend approval for Mahoning County Board of developmental disabilities to provide summer services for a special education student throughout the 2016 summer. So moved. Second. Treasurer Cope, roll please. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Uh, Mr. Glista? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Mr. Trimmer? Yes. Item 8, under personnel A, recommend approval to employ Terry Romai as a certificated substitute for the 2015-16 school year. So moved. Second. Treasurer Cope, roll. Mr. Glista? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Mr. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Trimmer? Yes. Item B, recommend approval to employ Russ Moyer as a home instructor for the 2015-16 school year on an as-needed basis. So moved. Second. Treasurer Cole. Mr. Wallace? Yes. 
Mr. Wallace? Yes. Ms. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Blister? Yes. Mr. Yes, item C, recommend approval to employ Kathleen Clisby to provide intensive reading services throughout the 2016 summer on an as-needed basis at the rate of $25 per hour pending certification. So, sorry. Treasurer, call the roll. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Ms. McLaughlin? Yes. Yes. Mr. Trimmer. Yes. Item D, recommend approval for an unpaid leave of absence for Rebecca Zeiser beginning April 21st, 2016, not to exceed three weeks. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll. Uh, Ms. McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. Glista. Yes. Uh, Mr. Wallace. Yes. Mr. Yes. Item E, recommend approval for an unpaid leave of absence for Sean Underwood on April 20th, 2016. Treasurer, call the roll. Mr. Glista. No. Uh, Mr. Wallace. No. Ms. McLaughlin. No. Mr. Trimmer. No. Item F, recommend approval to employ Nicholas Jackson for middle school, high school credit recovery, 2016 summer school. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll. Mr. Wallace. Yes. Ms. McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. Glista. Yes. Mr. Trimmer. Yes, item G, recommend approval to accept the resignation of Matthew Manley as elementary principal, effective June 30th, 2016, Exhibit 9. So moved. Second. Do you have something to say? Or no? Yeah, will you vote no on that? <laughs> Richard? I guess I can't get you to do that. Go ahead and vote, and then, yeah, I do have a few things I'd like to say. Okay, Treasurer Colville. <coughs> Mr. Wall. Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. Glista. Yes. Mr. Trimmer. Yes. Uh, I have a letter from Mr. Manley, uh, and I'd like to read it uh, to all of you here in just a minute, but uh, uh, we are certainly going to miss Mr. Manley. We want to wish him all the best as he uh, heads into a new experience and uh, a new endeavor as the uh, superintendent of Crestview Local Schools in uh, Columbiana County. Uh, Mr. Manley has been with us since uh, 2001. He came in, and in those days we had a junior high, so he came as, as the junior high principal and, and uh, principal of Damascus Elementary, and I know many of the folks in the room uh, know him and have worked with him. Uh, he was with us when we moved uh, to the new facility at the uh, middle school and was instrumental in, in uh, having sixth, seventh, and eighth grade all under uh, one roof and, and putting the middle school concept, working with his staff to put the middle school concept uh, into into uh, motion over there. So we appreciate that very much. Mr. Manley did a stint one year with us as a staff development coordinator and uh, now he is at Damascus Elementary and has been there for the last couple of years and it's just been a wonderful experience for him and uh, the community and I'm sure the staff as well. Uh, difficult decision but he had a wonderful opportunity and uh, we certainly wish him all the best for that. Uh, he writes, I am writing to notify you that I'm resigning my position as Damascus Elementary Principal at the conclusion of my contract uh, June 30th, 2016. I'll become the superintendent of Crestview Local Schools on July 1st, 2016. I have been so blessed, which sounds like Mr. Manley, to be part of the West Branch uh, Schools for over 15 years. The students, staff, and community have truly touched the lives of our family. I leave with so many wonderful memories of the community working together. I am so grateful to have worked uh, with this staff in this district. Uh, they are truly exceptional and they do so much. They visit homes, they call families, they work long hours, and they communicate with families building a bridge for success. Uh, I have been blessed that in these times of high stakes testing, the staff and the people here still find joy and care with the students. Uh, West Branch is a throwback to simpler times. I truly cherish the games, the music, the dinners, and the events that support our students. The children have made me a better person. They are honest and find joy in every moment. They have brightened my day uh, when the sun has not shone. Uh, I am a teacher, but they have taught me more than I have ever taught them. I again would like to thank you for the opportunities to lead. Most importantly, I would like to thank you for letting the Manley family uh, be a part of uh, West Branch Local Schools. Sincerely, Matthew T. Mann. And I'd also like to wish congratulations to Mr. Manley. Uh, he's a huge advocate for teachers. He loves the community, and I'm sure he'll have no trouble being a rebel. <laughs> That's right. Item H, recommend approval to 
recommend approval to grant the following supplementals for the 2015-16 school year as listed. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll. Mrs. McCall. Yes. Mr. Glista. Yes. Wallace? Yes, Mr. Trimmer. Yes, item I recommend approval to employ Alyssa Stitzel as an intervention specialist for the 2016-17 school year pending certification. Second. Treasurer, call the roll. Mr. Calista. Yes. This is, uh, excuse me, Mr. Wallace. Yes. Ms. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Trimmer. Yes, item J recommend approval of professional leave, superintendent's assignments listed in Exhibit 10. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll. Yes, there are a few items under the agenda addendum under new business item one recommend approval to auction off and dispose of outdated weight room equipment. The West Branch Athletic Boosters have donated money to purchase the new equipment in exhibit 1A. So moved. Second. Treasurer call the roll. Yes. Mr. Glista? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Mr. Trimmer? Yes. Uh, also under new business, recommend approval to adopt the student handbook for the 2016-17 school year. So Second. Second. Treasurer, call the roll. Uh, Mr. Glista? Yes. Mr. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Mr. Trimmer? Yes. Under personnel, under the agenda, Addendum, item one, recommend approval to employ Terry Crowell as a head cook for the 2016-17 school year. So moved. Second. Chair's call the roll. Um, Mrs. McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. Wallace. Yes. Mr. Glista. Yes. Mr. Trimmer. Yes, item two, recommend approval to non-renew Jessica Scullion, long-term substitute, pursuant to the terms of the collective bargaining agreement <laughs> with the WBEA at the conclusion of the 2015-16 school year. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll. Yes. Mr. Glista? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Mr. Trump. And if I may, I always like to, to make a note uh, with that with Jessica Scullion. She has done a, a fine job uh, for us at Knox Elementary. We appreciate that very much. Her non renewal is simply because she was in as a long term substitute. Thank you. Mm -hmm. At this time, I need a motion to enter into executive session to consider the employment of a public official. Move to go into executive session. One second. Treasurer, call the roll. Um, Mr. Wallace. Yes. Mr. McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. Glista. Yes. Mr. Trimmer. Yes. Is that, did you do a motion? John did it. All right. <laughs> Thank you.